Hello YouTube, uh, this is HD Video Tuts here and today I'm going to teach you how to um, use Espresso or Espresso, whatever. Um, so I have this model of chart here, it's still not finished, uh, but uh, I just heard this for this tutorial. Don't ask me how this is supposed to be powered, don't ask me where the bullets come from, but uh, maybe it's generated here in the magical world of Mimi and me. Um, but um, yeah, let's uh, take a look at this. Now, for this, you're going to have to organize your model into parts. So, I have this part. The bottom, the stand. Above that, the rotator. Above that, the connector, which connects to the gun. Okay? Four parts. Now, you're going to have to put them in the proper... Make sure to save it. Okay, now, you know what? I'm going to save it as a backup. Now. Save it as... It. Back up. Save. And then close this. And then open up. Gap and turret. Okay. You don't have to do that. I was just saying this. Just in case I decide to change my mind, I don't have to undo everything. <clears throat> so we have these wheels that makes this thing turn um, Again, don't ask me how this is supposed to work. I don't know myself Plus I'm gonna change the wheels later on I think as soon as I figure out how to make the wheels that I do want to make But uh, for now, let's get started. So First thing we're gonna do is uh, put them in correct order The gun needs to be inside the connector but not just anywhere. Actually, yeah, just anywhere. Actually, I'm gonna put it inside this cube, okay? Cool. Snare name, whatever. And um, the connector needs to be inside the rotator. So just put the connector inside the rotator, and you know what? You don't have to put the gun in here. Yeah, whatever. And put the rotator inside the stand. And actually, the stand is just gonna stay there. So that's no need. Now, after you have everything organized, you should have it like this. This thing controls the whole thing. Then the connector just controls the gun. The gun itself just controls itself. You know what we could have added was like never mind, I'm not gonna do that now, so let's just not even bother. Um, <clears throat> so how to use express ex espresso. <laughs> Whoa, that was an earthquake I think. Okay, right click and for the tags, espresso. Make sure to do it on a null or anything you pretty much want. But, um, now, you're gonna bring in everything you want to add. Espresso, ex whatever the hell that one. Okay, actually, before you do that, click on your thing and go to user data, add user data. And first thing we're gonna add is rotate rotation. And we're gonna make a data type. Never mind that data type. Float, sli fla float slider interface and uh, do it in degree. Both of our this is going to be in degree. We want this to be like completely 360. Default value needs to be zero. And uh, I just pressed enter for some reason. But uh, that was done anyway. And uh, let's add this one. We're going to call this. Um, Let's call this pitch. And we're gonna make it float slider again. Degree, minimum, uh, negative 15. Maximum, 15. And default value zero, okay. And that is perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, now, 
You're gonna go into your express attack, bring in rotator, and then bring in the connector. Why did I make it so big? So that you guys can see. Okay. Um, and then bring it your thing that you added your user data to, which is my whole turret, which is also where I add my express attack. Now I'm gonna come in here. Click on the red stuff and click user data and pitch, user data and rotation. These two, these two pitch and thing will represent your inputs in here. Now we'll be able to do some math and output it to some values to here. Okay, that's how espresso works. You can even multiply by negative one to go the opposite and whatever whatever but we're gonna make it simple rotator we're gonna go to card uh, we're gonna click on the rotator which is um, this thing we want this thing to be able to rotate the whole thing that's why you have the wheels here and everything so it's just gonna go. the rotation space is going to be this which is the h value because i just rotated a nice side here that's how you figure it out pretty much with coordinates, rotation, not global rotation, it's rotation, rotation H. Although I tested on it, that doesn't matter. Go to rotation and kablam. Okay. And let's bring the connector up here. <clears throat> and we're going to select our connector and we do not. That's a problem it's a huge problem because I'll show you what I'm talking about later but uh, we're gonna click here pitch uh, go to click here go to coordinates rotation rotation P which is transfer pitch just boom okay now if we rotate this is this is fine right it's rotating if we do this, oh, there's a huge problem, right? Okay, we're going to fix that. Okay, uh, we have to find our connector first. Right here. So to take the easy way out, we have to figure out what are the hell's inside the connector. Again, these are all the stuff inside stuff inside the connector okay so what we're gonna do is take everything out pretty much what we can do right now is get, click here and change the coordinates to like right if we can eyeball it but uh, I don't think I can so actually let's try this what are the coordinates for this? If you can just figure out the coordinates for okay, yes. Y is that and everything else is zero. So we're gonna come in here and click on the connector. I'm gonna make everything else zero, zero, and y paste it out, apply. Ooh, that didn't work, did it? Okay, um Jeez, man. Okay, um, I need to find something that's inside. Oops, what the hell did I just do? Okay. No, we're just gonna eyeball it for now. Um, what we could have done is just created a new null and everything. But, uh, this needs to be right on the center of uh, this and everything. Keep zooming in, you know, just make it perfect. Right, so zoom until you can zoom no more. Okay, and wow, this looks pretty beast for me. It looks like a mean bot. Seriously, my building is shaking right now. Um, so now what you want to do is uh, actually you're pretty much done, I think. Now that we have fixed that problem. See, 
is rotating correctly. Since we have the 15 degree max and 15, negative 15 minimum, um, it's only rotating 15 degrees, which is awesome because you don't want to rotate too much. That's just unrealistic. Okay, and this thing is rotating. Now, what you can do is just animate these instead of animating the whole thing. So isn't that awesome? Let's do some animation. Now, uh, here's some bonus tips about animation. Animate only one attribute at a time. That way, it makes things easier. Trust me, it does. Let's go to like uh, 200 frames. And what I'm going to do is uh, come around here and then and Okay, that is perfect for this. So by doing this one at a time, you trust me, it makes everything easier. It makes everything a little bit cooler too. Now, all we have to do is just animate the pitch. So it starts off like this. And then the pitch will go. Okay, now it's going to shake a little bit, maybe. And So this is what we have. An awesome looking robot kind of sentry. Done in Expresso. So um, thank you guys for watching. Maybe I'll render this out. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. Um, here's the final result.